Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing favourite and affordable makeup brushes that I own and if you're just starting out with makeup this video will be useful if you want to know what brushes that you should invest in and what are affordable if you are just you know uh, on a budget. Let's get started. Um, when I look for makeup brushes I want really good quality that blend well and apply your makeup well. That's the key thing and they also they can withstand it so that you know, they last for a long time. If they are not good quality, they won't blend properly and they won't apply your makeup well. It will also not last very long. If the structure of the brush is not good, the hairs on the brush will fall out, so you don't want that. The most expensive brush I have was probably cost me £7, and considering the prices out there, I think £7 is a very good price for a makeup brush. Uh, and as, as I said, that is the highest price I have paid for one of the make for some of the makeup brushes I have. But I do have cheaper ones. The brushes that I have are from four different brands. So I've bought from Elf, Real Techniques, Zoeva, and Crown brushes. Let me just talk about the price point from each of the brush brands that I have brought from. So for Elf, the average price for their brushes about is about four pounds fifty. And I haven't tried their eye brushes. But I have tried their face brushes and I really like them. There's one brush that I'll be showing you that I really love and I use it almost every day in my makeup routine. The next brush brand that I absolutely love is called Zoeva. I think this is one of the, the highest quality brushes out there um, and at an affordable price. I bought brushes from Zoeva as a set and it was called the Complete Set. So if you look online there will be... Uh, different types of collections. They have limited editions and they have also brush sets and they also sell individual as well. But I bought the complete set, it's called the complete set, and it came with a range of eye brushes and face brushes. But I paid £95 for about 15 brushes and if you think about it, that's just over £6 each and that is such a good price for the quality of the brushes. They are amazing, so if you are looking into investing in some really good quality brushes are a reasonable price. I think £6 each is a bargain. I think if you buy them individually they are a bit more expensive but because I bought it as a set they came about £6, just over £6 each. The next brush brand that I bought from is called Crown Brushes and they have probably the cheapest brushes that I have ever come across. They, I think they were lowest prices like £2.50. do go higher um, up to about, I think about £10 each maybe. I haven't, I haven't checked recently because I bought them over a year ago. The last brand that I absolutely love is Real Techniques. If you haven't heard about Real Techniques then I don't know where you're living in the world because they are super famous because um, they are uh, the people behind uh, Real Techniques are Pixie Wee, the um, Chapman sisters on YouTube. If you are starting out and you're, you know, you haven't got any makeup brushes, and I think that's Real Techniques is the br the brand that you should invest in because they are really cheap. You can get about five brushes for about twenty pounds, and I think that's such a bargain. And you know, they do sell them in Boots and Super, you know, all of the drugstores in the UK and across the world, I, I presume. So do check uh, them out. All right, so let's get on to the brushes themselves, and I'm just going to share. This is not all of my brushes, but I'm going to share with you all my favourite brushes that I have loved from all the four brands that I have just mentioned. Alright, so I'm just going to start off with my face brushes. If you see, most of the brushes that I have here are from Real Techniques. I think they do really good face brushes and they have a range. This is all my Real, Real Techniques brushes, don't mind the dirty ones. Um, so, let me start off with the pink that I have here. The pink ones were from a limited edition set called the Sculpting Set, I presume. So you get like, what is this called? This is called the Sculpting Brush, so you can use it for, you know, cream contour, you can even use it for foundation, you know, you can use it for blush, you know, you can angle it and use it for highlighter. Another brush from this set that I really love is this setting brush. And it's amazing for like getting powder underneath the eyes, you know, even highlighter, you know, and you know, Basically, this is that I mainly use this for under the eye. Last brush that that is from that set is the fan brush, and you use this obviously for highlight. So this is from the core collection, so they're all orange. And the my favourite brushes from there is the 
buffing brush so obviously use this for foundation and also this is the contour brush you can use it for contour but I also sometimes like to use it for make my foundation as well so I mix and the last brush that I absolutely love from uh, Real Techniques is the cheek brush this was also in a limited edition collection also from the core collection I also love this pointed foundation brush I don't actually use this for foundation I actually use this to apply masks if you've seen on my snapchat add me on snapchat at through makeup one um, and I actually use this for masks and I apply it you know and then just wash it off and then use it again I don't know if it's still available but yeah it's like the silver packaging it's not the bold metals collection but this is like it came out I think I got about a year and a half ago and yeah you can use I also sometimes use it for under eye, I use it for powder all over I use it for you know um, blush you can even use for contour you can use it for anything you want that's how you know with brushes they're all really multi-purpose so you know you can use them for different uses on to my Zoeva brushes these are my two favourites this is the 128 cream cheek brush and I absolutely love this because it actually the bristles are quite long so they're more flimsy compared to the other brushes from Real Techniques so it's a multi-purpose brush so I absolutely love this and sometimes you can even use it for powder you know blotting away it's just a really good brush and then also I love this 110 face shape they have in the complete set you have two sizes you have this size and you have a bigger size as well so you can use obviously for foundation but I prefer the smaller brush to do foundation I like the big one too but I feel like it you can blend better with a smaller brush so yeah I like this one and then from elf this is my absolute favorite like under eye setting brush it doesn't really have a name but this is what it looks like um, if you can see it's like tapered at the end so I just love this because it's compact so it when you tap your brush into the powder it picks up a lot of product so that you can set the under eye because you know it does crease a lot so that's my favorite brush uh, for setting the under eye and from crown brushes this is my absolute favorite brush it's a stippling brush looking for a really cheap stippling brush then go to crown let's go on to my favorite eye brushes if you see here now all of my eye brushes are mainly the Zoeva brushes because they're absolutely amazing they're just I can't explain how amazing they are they are really good um, so let's start with real techniques so these are my four favorite um, eye brushes from real techniques this is not really an eye brush but this is a uh, you can use to it's called a concealer deluxe crease brush so I guess you can use this for your eye makeup but I tend to use this for you know like blending out concealer under the eye you know if you have a few pimples that you need to cover so I use, like to use this and just dab the concealer on and then just blend it out my fingers so next brush is the doesn't have a name great but this is their standard blending brush um, it's just kind of like shaped like that um, this is one of the faves when I started doing makeup this was amazing you can use it for blending you can use it for anything so if you have a few of these you're good to go so yeah this is just amazing for getting in the socket similar blending brush bits angled like this as you can see I love to use this in the corner because it's it is pointed at one end I sometimes like to use it just to blend you know just to get like a, a sharp crease color in there you know I love to use that and then I can turn it around and blend it out as well and lastly real techniques brush is this angled um, angled brush if you can see what it looks like it's I absolutely love, you know, you can use it for brows, you can use it for liner, like a smudged eyeliner, you can use it underneath the lash line to blend out. It's just such a multi-purpose brush and as I said, all my brushes that I own are all multi-purpose. But yeah, they, you literally can use any brush the way you want to use it. Cause my favourite Zoeva brushes. So, these are all my Zoeva brushes. Let me start off with this. This is an angle brush and it's really... Thin. I don't know if you can see that but it's really thin and this is perfect for applying liner next is another eyeliner brush this is the 315 fine liner and it's just a point you know it's just pointed like really thin and also again you can use it for um, eyeliner absolute favorite um, like eyeshadow packing on brush this is the 234 Luke smoky shader so you can use it to like you know pack on eyeshadow onto the eyelid you can use it to smoke out your liner you know it's such a multi-purpose eyeshadow brush my next two brushes are my absolute favorite blending brushes they 
two different types of blend blending brushes, but from MAC, there's this um, blending brush, I think it's 217, this blending brush from MAC that is identical to this brush. Sorry it's a bit dirty, but yeah, this is exactly identical to that. So if you are looking for a cheaper MAC dupe blending brush, then this is for you. So it's the 227 Luke's Def Soft Definer. Another brush that I absolutely love, that is my lifesaver, I use it every single day, is the 228 Crease Brush. And if you see, it's a bit more uh, rounded than this one. Kind of gets like an overall blend. The last brushes are from Crown that I own. So this is like a double-sided eyebrow brush. So one side is angled and one side has a spoolie. So it's great to like, you know, fill it in and the other side to just comb out the brush hairs. So that's perfect for that. This is the 7158. And by the way guys, I will list all the names of the products down below and hopefully I can get the links as well. So do go and check that out the description below if you want to purchase any of these products. Um, blending brush of mine, it's the C139 Stiff Tapered Crease. This is absolutely amazing if you want to get like, um, so if you've applied colour into your crease, like if you want to get a cut crease, if you apply the colour there and then you want to blend it out like really, because it is really um, tapered and it is really small, so it gets right in the crease and you can just blend that that crease colour out, just so it just stays in that specific area and blends it out, so that's just amazing for that. And then the other brush that I love for eyeliner is this, I don't know, it doesn't have a name, so hopefully I can get a link down below, and you just, it's just really thin also to get the, you know, from the inner corner and draw all the way out. And the last brush that I absolutely love is this BK15 Chisel Fluff. <laughs> it's like a really, um, it's like a, you know, eyeshadow packing brush, packing on brush, but it's a bit more fluffier than my Zoeva one. So my Zoeva one is a bit more stiff so that you can apply the eyeshadow on really like densely but this is a bit more fluffy so I guess you can like apply it and then you know blend it out kind of to give it like a more soft look so yeah that brush is that and my absolute favourite lip brush is actually from Real Techniques this is actually like a concealer brush or something but I actually love it for applying you know lipstick or you know liquid lip whatever you're applying it really it because it's kind of a really um, thin and stiff brush, you can really get in the corners and get a really straight edge. You can also use this for cleaning up around the lip, you know, like to get a really precise edge if you're going for a bold lip, you know, it's really good for that. And also you can use it for concealer if you want as well, so yeah. My favourite face, lip and eye brushes um, that I absolutely love. I do have more, but these are my favourite out of all of them. Um, so if you do want to purchase any of the products, I will obviously leave the links down below, so do go check them out. And yeah, that's about it. That's all my favourite brushes and I hope you enjoy the video guys. Give me a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!